गुरवे गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय तदालये कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम All glories to Amrita and Danvantari. So today I am going to quickly present the three most essential energy balancing, energy psychology techniques for balancing the brain halves and um, substituting limiting impressions by the use of a positive uh, affirmation which is linked to the exact issue that is going to be released. For example, we are going to use an affirmation which is describing the end result combined with uh, some holy name and Sanskrit. So let's say you have some issue with your intestine, large intestine, so we use the word colon. Second two words, syllables, uh, is healthy, that's the end result. And that we get by the nectar, which is carried by Garuda. So the next word is Garud, and the last word is Amrit. I'm not going into explanation of the affirmation here very much. I'm just going into the uh, technique that you can use. So when you have figured out the issue, then you may um, speak the affirmation by uh, or think about the affirmation while tapping over your governing meridian from your forehead to the back of your head and repeat that two three times maybe four uh, I like to say it in a, in a rhythmic a melodic way Garuda Amrit uh, colon healthy Garuda Amrit colon healthy Garuda Amrit colon healthy uh, Garuda Amrit colon healthy Garuda Amrit it may be also nice to change the hands with every repetition so colon healthy Garuda Amrit colon healthy Garuda Amrit colon healthy Garuda Amrit on healthy garudamrit. So this is uh, a technique that can be used also uh, for releasing emotions related to different organs and so you will state the liberated emotion um, and the organ name and then you can do that. That's the most simple technique and it's sufficient in most of the cases. There are uh, some cases where um, a little bit of a deeper impression and a, a stronger binding between the brain halves is necessary. So the same goes, you have figured out before by uh, applied kinesiology, kinesiology or some other method, which is uh, your key phrase. And once you have your key phrase, you repeat that key phrase uh, together with um, another technique and I'm going to sit on the bench over there and I'm going to show you the technique so you do the technique and you inhale repeat it once then you keep the breath and repeat again the affirmation and then on exhalation you repeat the affirmation and then again uh, after exhalation you keep the breath out and then you change the side so just have a look First, left leg over the right leg and opposite, right arm over the left. And then you bring it in front of your heart, you breathe in and you do the affirmations. So we do this two times and then we change right leg, left arm. So you can repeat the affirmation in your mind. And that should be usually enough to uh, 
update the subconscious mind with the newly discovered limiting belief, limiting state, uh, newly discovered unlimited or uh, love expanded state because the problem was that there was a limiting conception, limiting belief, limited um, experience stored in the subconscious mind and in this way you can update uh, the brain halves so what you have understood consciously you can um, sync with what is in your subconscious mind so and if that is not enough there is another technique which I have used many times and I've shown it here and there for to some extent but I'm going to demonstrate it again and there is um, you use the same affirmation but it's a tapping technique with both hands on eight points of the body and each point you will repeat the affirmation uh, both for inhale and exhale so maybe that's changed a little bit but I found in this way is the most effective so sometimes when some impressions are really resistant then you may use this technique and um, repeat uh, with every tapping you can repeat the syllables of the affirmation so I'm gonna sit over there again and you can check out the technique breathe in and breathe out Breathe in and always recite the information in your mind. Breathe out, breathe in and out. In and out. And out. And now the feet. And now we reverse the process from the bottom to the top. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Now the hands. Once you have done the process, each or one of the three processes, then you can check with the applied kinesiology with this technique if it was healed, if it's strong, it was healed, if it was not healed. Um, so you ask, was it healed? Is the reply strong or was it healed? And if it's like this, you don't have strength here in your finger in your small finger then it shows that it wasn't healed then you have to see ask for further solutions so I may do another video on this uh, kinesiology technique another time thank you very much for tuning in if you have any comment or question you're most welcome uh, also please check the, the description of the video for further links and um, consider subscribing to the channel and sharing this video with all for the benefit of all. So, may the Om Love be with you. Jai Shri Radhe Shyam. This was Bergendra ND from 108 LSA.